Hello everyone, Nordic Beast here, and welcome back to another update video, I suppose. Um, this is more going to be story time with Nordic, one of those kind of things. But this is Valheim. Uh, it is going to stand in for Space Engineers, because right now Space Engineers isn't working, which I will get into later. I am just going to leave this lovely view of my hall here in Valheim, because when I walk around and I try to talk, I... I forget everything I'm supposed to do. And I, I tell you, it feels like old times because I've tried to record this like a dozen times. Even though my baby daughter is taking a nap, I have been interrupted, and I keep messing things up, and I keep having to re-record. So, but I've got my coffee, and I'm actually recording for once, so I, mm, I am in a good mood. I'm going to take a quick sip of my coffee. Speaking of... Mm. Wonderful. Lastly, I noticed my chair is squeaking. Uh, it is very loud and squeaky. I will tighten it up and WD-40 this bad boy, so try to ignore it. Um, so it's been about two years since my last update video, and I don't remember all... <clears throat> excuse me. I don't remember all that I said in it, so I'm just going to do a quick update on where we are, what's going on, and what to expect. So a few years ago, me and my ex-wife broke up. We got a divorce. Uh, me and my current girlfriend are now together, Becca. We moved to the middle of Michigan, three miles outside of a small town. We live in the middle of the forest. Town is about a thousand people. The internet sucks. Good internet in town, crappy internet outside of town. We use satellite internet, which is about the best we're going to get. And it's great for streaming, watching movies, YouTube, Google, you name it. Um, but it's not so good at games because it's 756 ping on average. So you're talking two to three second delay on everything you do. And yet my stupid ass was still playing War Thunder. <laughs> um, so about a year ago, we kind of fixed that by getting an, uh, a cell phone hotspot. We call it the hockey puck. And it's wonderful. The bad part about it is that there's only 10 to 15 gigs of data. That's perfectly fine for playing games, but a lot of that, a lot of this has to do with me being an idiot. I forget to disconnect my computer from the hotspot and put it back on the home internet when we are watching movies or YouTube or whatever on my computer. Because, like I said, I'm an idiot. That aside, last year I have actually been playing online games because I can now. Um, yeah. So, about a year and a half ago, Beck and I, we welcomed our daughter Amelia, as I mentioned, who's currently taking a nap, which is why I get to record. And, like everything in this video, good comes with bad. Uh, then the pandemic happened. So, I've been on and off stay-at-home dad. And I'm currently stay-at-home dad. So I have time, and I have working internet, and... Yeah, um... So, also, a few months ago, my computer died, my gaming rig died, the motherboard actually kicked the bucket, so I ordered a new computer. Uh, that one was getting pretty old, it was about six years old, so. Uh, this laptop works great, and to go with that, my headphones died. Great mic on it, uh, but the actual, you know, sound part of the headphones died. So, a couple days ago, my stepson bought me a new head, new, you know, new headphones doesn't have a mic. I was trying to use the mic on this laptop, but it sounds like I'm in a tunnel in the next room. So I stopped using it. So currently I have this thing jury rigged with my new headphones on, which are, by the way, are the hands down most comfortable headphones I have ever used. Great sound quality too, but they don't have a mic. And so I have my old headphones around my neck with the microphone and I have everything rigged so that you guys can hear me through that. <sighs> at least it works. Uh, I could not remember the name of OBS, my recording software. And so I figured, hey, I have NVIDIA. I will give Shadowplay a try. Well, Shadowplay sucks. I tried to record some footage in War Thunder, and it lagged the game to no end. I wish I would have saved that footage. It was bad. Uh, so I hop onto TeamSpeak, and I talk to, the, to Hoots, you know, the Hoots guys, and I'm like, what was the name of that software? And fifth is like OBS. Like, OBS. Oh, OBS is so wonderful. It was so easy to just 
get right back into it. Even though it's been two years since I've recorded anything on a new computer. My goodness. Uh, so <laughs> now I have everything set up. I can record. I have internet. I have time in the evening. Uh, the Hoots guys and us, or, and myself, we play War Thunder together. Um, we were playing Valheim, but they're pretty well caught up on it, as am I. I, you know, we've all beat the bosses and stuff. And it's a game still in development, so it's still early access, and they're going to be releasing the new update soon, uh, which is Hearth and Home. But, so those guys don't really play it as much. However, Becca and I do. Becca's only on the second boss, and I love building in the game. So, as long as Becca gives it the okay, I may record some of our stuff. I will do kind of like Welcome to the Shipyard. Do a little show and tell, maybe a boss fight here or there. Um, maybe even some of the actual building itself that's interesting. But the game is very much like Minecraft, and... That can only be so entertaining to watch just the, you know, the grind of it. You know, just the source, or resource collecting. So, in the future, you can... Oh! I <laughs> hit my mouse. I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot to add this part. So, Space Engineers. The reason I haven't... The reason I'm not on it is when my computer died, I used Becca's. And I put Space Engineers on that... And then I tried to manually transfer it to this machine, and I did not do it correctly. I did it correctly with War Thunder, but not with Space Engineers. So when I started Space Engineers, a lot of the time it would just crash. And then I'd start up Space Engineers, and I, sometimes I could get into a world. I'd try to save the world. It would crash. So that is my fault. Surprisingly, not Keen's. But once I do reinstall the game, uh, expect Welcome to the Shipyard to come back. Uh, I still do play the game. I still do enjoy it. Uh, expect some Valheim. Expect War Thunder. And maybe the occasional game here or there. So that's pretty much what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. And I guess now that I'm done going on and you guys are all cut up, I can show you this place really quick. This is my main character's home. This hall. And this is actually my Hoots character that we were using. Like, we started new characters for Hoots. I, I was already near the end of the game when we started playing. So I just got a new character. This hall is huge. It actually took me three days real time, on and off, to build this place. <laughs> I love it because we are in the Black Forest, that over there, which is like the second biome you really get to go to in the game, and it's got this amazing music. I kind of have the sound turned down for the recording, but I love it. So as I I live here, I get to hear that beautiful music, which is mostly violin-based. Um, initially, this was these roofs here, like where the bonfire is. This one I'm standing on, which is actually the bar. I added this later on, which is part of my bedroom. And then this whole building here, and then that building there. This didn't exist, and neither did that room over there. Uh, I ended up adding this breezeway for storage. As you see, I can carry, keep a lot of stuff here. And this is my workshop. All very wide and open. Keep all my. Or this is where I, you know, do my smelting and all that stuff. My bees. Make sure they're happy. The bees are happy. Every time we play, Becca loves bees. She was bee obsessed when she was pregnant with Amelia, <laughs> so she she just loves bees, which is fine. I I love bees too, especially bumblebees. And it's funny, I actually have an allergy too. Um. Anyway, this is my secondary dock. Usually, I have two boats here. I don't know where the fuck all my boats are. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm supposed to have a log ship down there. I don't have that either. What have I been up to? Uh, I got a nice little portal room here to be able to go wherever I'd like. I, this is my fishing dock. You can actually fish in this game. And I can just fish from right here, which is quite nice. Look at this. Oh, this hall. I have built a bunch of shit in this game so far. And this is still my favorite place I've made. 
This is my bar. Becca's Happy Place. Every bar I make, I put up a plaque that says Becca's Happy Place. <laughs> Got my bonfire here. It's funny, I actually had a roof on this thing, but it had ventilation, but it still kept going out. I removed the roof. It burns permanently now. So, And then my dock. Usually I have a long ship right here. And then... Of course, my actual main hall. Well, I have bar area and stuff. And then my main mead hall with all my old shields up. Come up here. My room, which I'll show in a second. As you can see, there's just so much roof space. And that wall is technically open. All the smoke, you know, dissipates. Come in here. And I have four identical rooms up here for people to take. If they're ever on. It's just basic needs. Actually, I could probably add a couple of chairs, too. I haven't done yet. But, yeah, just a bed, a chest, and a torch. And, you know, a table. Just very basic. Now, in here is my room, which has two floors. So, Vathithnir is my other character. This is... Uh, that roof I was talking about. This I added later. Because I, I just I wanted to be able to sit outside. And then I have an upstairs room. <laughs> which has a couple of chairs. This sconce needs fuel. But it overlooks the hall, which I really like. It's also very cramped up here. But, yeah, this is my hall. I, I love this place. When I haven't played in a while, sometimes I just sign on so I can walk through here because I miss this place. This is one of my favorite places I've ever built in any video game. This giant hall. And it is here. It takes up an entire island, so you get random events in the game where people, or not people, but monsters try to swarm and kill you. Well, they have nowhere to spawn because they take up this entire island. So, they never show up. They just don't. Period. End of story. And it's nice not having to deal with, you know, basically raids. Yep. So yeah, that's uh, that's my place in Valheim. Uh, like I said, I am all up to date now. Computer recording, uh, internet, time to do so. <laughs> Expect more videos in the near future. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time.